Hey guys, I want to take a little time today to talk about one of the Benchmade knives. It's one of my harder use Benchmades. It's a Benchmade that I carry when I'm on hikes, when I'm going to be doing some work in the yard, when I'm going to be doing a little bit of processing a lot of cardboard. Um, it's a very capable knife and it's a fantastic knife. It's a knife that I can recommend and a knife that I just wanted to go over with you today and it is the Benchmade Freak. The Benchmade Freak is a medium full size knife. Um, you guys check the specs at some of our local retailers, but I'm going to guess it's around a three and a half inch blade, probably around a four and a half, five inch handle. As you can see there, it's more than ample room for my medium to large size hand. It's got a very tall, thin um, M4 blade. So it's very slicey, holds an edge fantastically. G10 handles with red back spacers, and then a nice deep carry clip. Like most of our bench maids, this uses axis locks to deploy. It's got great action, whoops, as I fail it, under the camera. It really does have great action, guys. Horizontally, it's a little challenging for me. But we will learn as we mature in the YouTube game. So the Benchmade Freak, again, it's, uh, it's probably one of the most recent Benchmades to my collection. It's one that I'd held off on for a while. I felt like the Mini Freak was kind of more my jam in terms of size, but the price kind of took me away value per dollar. And when I got down and actually handled this knife at Knives and War here in where I live in my hometown, I really liked it. I handled it next to the Mini Freak. I usually like a medium or smaller knife, but in this particular case, I thought the M4 Freak was just perfect. So let's get a quick comparison on size to this guy and see how it compares up to the Cold Steel 4 Max going to be smaller than the 4 Max and the Civivi Baby Banter it's going to be quite a bit larger than the Civivi Baby Banter let's look at it next to another Benchmade the Benchmade Bugout it's going to be smaller than the Benchmade Bugout let's look at it next to the Benchmade Mini Adamas It's going to be a little bigger than the Mini Adamas. Let's see how it compares to the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I would say out of those knives, it's probably closest to the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. A little bit smaller, but the handle size is going to be very consistent. It's going to have more cutting blade area on the Freak. The overall blade length is going to be right around the same. But again, guys, just a, a fantastic American-made knife, bench-made freak. If it's something that is, if you're looking for a medium to large size, reliable carry, I can recommend it. Um, but most important thing is look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for one another and kind of go through your days and through your nights with, with love in your heart and move forward and debate, not hate. You know, I love you all. Thanks for watching my video. Peace, guys.